Afternoon, afternoon, everybody. Well, it's not afternoon yet. <laughs> I'm sure people on the East Coast, you know, it's past afternoon. But I thought it was, uh, it's not, it's about five minutes until noon on the West Coast, baby, baby. Cool. So Michelle is here on this uh, September 25th, 2024. And I wanted to come on through because, you know, uh, I like to know, uh, and I've said this so many times, I like to know what's really going on. You know, I really do, uh, because usually what's going on is not what's going on. You know what I mean? There's usually always, I would say 99% of the time, there's always something going on in the background. Always. And please consider that and cultivate that into how you're thinking throughout the day. There's always something more going on in the background than what we're being told. Okay? You know, these secrets and lies and and such and I put a I put a, quite a few videos out there about secrets and lies and how I mean people are going people are getting exposed like I mean it's unreal how people are being exposed but that is called cause and effect if anybody still needs some some clarity on what that means that's cause and effect reaping what you've sown you know, no such thing as uh, coincidence. It's the boomerang. All this stuff that's happening, especially with entertainers or these high influencer types, uh, even scientists, uh, you know, especially politicians. You know, I just got back in. I've been running around taking care of some stuff. And, I, and one of my favorite things to do is to have a good meal. You know, or snacking on something. So that's what I'm doing. I'm snacking on some pecans or pecans. You know, however you want to pronounce it. Some fruit. You know, and uh, I can go on and on and on and on. I, I, I think I need to have something to snack on all day long. You know what I mean? You know, I, I really do. <laughs> Otherwise, it you know, I get a little whatever. We all have our little weirdness about ourselves but nobody wants to admit it you know a lot of people want to admit won't admit that they have uh some awkwardness you know I me mean? but that's why you don't have to admit it to me as long as you're admitting things to yourself and being honest with yourself that's where it all starts anyway so i told you you know several videos there are going to be people just getting exposed all over the place the veils are lifting you understand the curtains are being open People are being exposed, and there's a lot of complicity out there. Don't be don't be delusional about that, and and the people that are involved in this complicit behaviors and actions, you know, you're almost just as guilty because you know you, you know you see somebody else doing it or whatever they're doing, and you're in there doing the same thing, but yet you think that you can kind of snake your way out of that. I mean, that's kind of childish and immature and there's a lot of that going on when it comes to people's thinking modes there's a lot of immaturity and childishness about behaviors and actions so there's a lot of complicity involved there's a lot of um you know it's just pure shadiness and de and uh deception you know with people and uh how people you know horse these people up as uh icons you know these entertainer icons or these influencer icons or these political icons we have all that going on all of that going on right now during these times and that and that's not surprising because you know we're do we're reaching the dawning of the age of aquarius separating beliefs to, to you know separating beliefs and cultivate them into knowledge if that's possible or get rid of the belief okay in other words you have a belief usually it's supernatural of course there's no way to reproduce supernatural under the best circumstances and a lot of people believe that they can and usually they can't you know what i mean the, to be to be um as powerful as you think you are and this is not to be hurtful with energy that requires a lot of energy and it, and it can also turn on you when you are starting to mess around with it. It's just like playing around with electricity. Who does that? Or who, play, you know, or a, uh, lightning strikes. Has anyone, I mean, 
I can guarantee you, if you talk to people that have been struck by lightning, they will tell you, okay, I don't want to keep dealing with that all the time. That's that energy I'm talking about that people keep wanting to tap into or to have electrical shock. I mean, does anyone enjoy being electrically shocked? I doubt it. You know what I mean? So that's equivalent to what you're doing when you're kind of messing around with the energy, but it affects your consciousness and your psyche. And that causes, de you know, some detrimental damage to yourself. And so it causes you to be delusional, hallucinating, and properly thinking is the main thing. And ruminating about, you know, uh, irrelevancy. You know, I wish certain people that I know uh, knew how fabulous they are. They are fabulous. I get so excited, you know, when I think about them, you know. Uh, the, the, you know, they're fabulous. They look they look fantastic. You know, they, I mean, gosh, I'm like, wow, the beauty, and especially the beauty in their eyes. It's just, uh, it's just amazing uh, how fabulous people are. And some I've told them, I told them, you're fabulous. But, you know, for some reason we don't, it's just weird how we, um, how we uh, claim that we love ourselves. But there's always something going on there. And I think it's, you know, a lot of people don't want to feel like they're, uh, uh, you know, I mean, being modest is is definitely, you know, the prerequisite to being balanced. You know, just be moderate. But I'm, I'm telling you, there are some that is just fabulous. And I told them, I've told them. And I feel good that I've told it. And, you know, I don't care when I've told them that, it still exists today for me. If I say you're fabulous, you're fabulous, honey. Trust me. Ha! So anyway... But a lot of things are being exposed. That is called, the, you know, the separation of the wheat from the chaff with the uh, non-religious con connotations. And I told you, uh, I, I remember telling you that someone was complaining on uh, one of the um, places I was uh, having a conversation with. They said, well, why do you need to keep philosophizing everything? Well, you want to make it timeless. Okay, the truth is timeless. The lies you always have to be kind of snaking around with you know the lies and and, and and especially you know it's certain type of secrets you know if you have secrets of someone that's you know that's a bonding friendship that's different but i'm talking about these secrets where they're devastating where they can cause cause catastrophic financial especially and the thing is about all of that you can only hold that back for so long and it's going to collapse and explode literally figuratively and metaphorically there's not you know because it's energy you can only hold back energy for so long until it's just going to be uh, debilitating where you know you're going to be paralyzed literally figuratively and metaphorically in in a way that you are going to be stuck there you're not going to be able to do a goddamn thing so it's just amazing that a lot of people think they're so clever and think they're so so intelligent, think they have this genius mind. It's all a bunch of smoke and mirrors. And it's all it's usually these so called hierarchical types, you know, the ones that are the so called the quote unquote the brains. You know what I mean? And if they only knew, if they only knew what they were tapping into, whether they are lodging it inside your brain or indoctrinating you, which is more more common, you know, because, you know, you can, all of us can be easily indoctrinated. That's why you just have to always stay grounded and say, okay, what is really going on here? You know, what do I hear? What do I see? What do I taste? You know, you have to, you have to take it through there. You have to go through those series of events until they become habits. And I put out a video yesterday that says, you know, you're sensing, you're sensing, you know, what you see here, taste, smell, feel, are actually a one, uh, you know, it's a one component of those many sensing inside. And that's why you need to kind of bring them all together as one. They're one, but we we like to frag, you know, break up stuff in, into pieces. And that's fine. That's how you evolve anyway, you know, break things off in pieces. But we're doing it for certain things that are uh, causing more harm than good. You know, you, we are supposed to put the pieces together, you know, and then, but once you're thinking clearly and effectively for yourself, you'll say, wait a second, this bring, you know, and then you start filling in the, filling in the missing pieces, you know, putting puzzles together. I think that's why people like, you know, doing that, th that game of putting puzzles together. I know some people, I mean, they could spend all day doing that, 
And that's okay. It all depend on, depends on why you're spending all day on it. When you need your dishes washed, you need to wash your clothes, you need to clean your house. You know what I mean? That's the same thing about video games. I understand the lore. I understand how how uh, fantastic that can be because a lot of people that are in the video games are usually vision, visionary types anyway. They get really turned on and some in a deviant fashion to, you know, all this uh, stimulus of the video games because, you know, I mean, it's so realistic to them. And that's how a lot of young people can get themselves indoctrinated because they haven't properly developed their consciousness to handle that kind of stuff. And it's very, very dangerous. But no one's listening to that about the effects of video games. No one's saying to eliminate video games. Okay, all I'm saying is your consciousness has to be developed before you partake in that type of activity. That's why we have incel communities or these these dark anonymous, uh, what do they call them, dark web, dark web uh, personas, personalities, whatever you want to call them. Sociopaths, psychopaths, narcissists, clerics. You know, all of that is due to under under development, being under development or on development. You can say, but it's it, but it's actually under developed. You just hadn't developed properly, and that's the and that's um, that's better than saying that I'm a failure. Even though you can't, you know, okay, if you say I'm a failure, okay, of course that I mean, gosh, that sounds that sounds very painful to say that. You can say I've made some failures. I've made some mistakes, but you, you, the you is not a failure. Okay. Otherwise, why would you, why were you created? Okay. So just think about that. So yes, the veil is lifting. People are coming. People are uh, being exposed all over the place. It's only the beginning. And this explosion is going to take, take place. Not only with individuals, it's going to take place with our climate. Literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, because of the com complacency, complacency, and the lying about what really is going on with this planet by so-called wannabe uh, scientists, engineers, you know, leadership. You know, um, you know. When I say leadership, it can be whether it's uh, lobbyists, advisors, politicians. Uh, these so-called million-dollar uh, babies, how about that? No, but these million dollar entrepreneurs, billionaires, innovators, all that, you know, um, they've, um, um, are causing and have caused some devastation to the descendants that must remain, that will remain and have to pick up the pieces. And, you know, the climate is going to be the main thing, I think. You know, in my opinion, the climate is what's going to really, you know, the the effects of the climate, in my opinion, is really is the is the one factor that's going to really, I think, open eyes. You know, clearly and effectively, it's going to open eyes instead of having people, you know, walking around, you know, with all these masks and and these false personas. It's going to open up some eyes and it's going to be cause some devastation for people because a lot of people are going to be stuck here stuck there and nobody's going to even know they're there some people are hiding on the bunkers some people are hiding in mountains some people are hiding here some people are hiding there and maybe a handful of people know that they're there but mother nature knows where everyone is okay mother nature knows where all of us are Okay, so you can't hide from Mother Nature. So, so yeah, so a lot is going on. A lot will continue to go on. It's going to get even more, um, you know, it's going to be even more uh, devastating, um, you know, with these personalities and these personas, you know, um, you know, not realizing consequences. But don't let the complicit, the ones that are involved, you know, in a complicit fact uh, uh, factor, be off the hook, eat, you know, you know, complicit. Let's look this up again. Complicity. Let's let's see what I, I, because I, I talked about it so many times. It says involvement as an accomplice in a quest questionable act 
or a crime. Okay, the state of being an accomplice, participating, participation in guilt. Go to the dictionary. Okay. You know, it's a wrongful act and you knew it was wrongful. Okay, it's one thing to not know it was wrongful, but you knew, you knew it was wrongful. And you see, you see, you see the collapse of your so-called leader or your so-called icon. And you don't think you're going to get hurt. Anytime there's a collapse, there's always going to be collateral damage. Okay, always. Okay, because of our hierarchical. For, but for those of us that are righteous and doing the best that we can to understand what's really going on, we're going to be observers, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to make too much of an impact for a large majority of people because they don't they don't want to take accountability for what they've done anyway. You know, the, the, that sneaky snake, you know, these informants, these liars, these, um, you know, these, um, I call them parasite behavior leech behavior you know they like to hang with the hang with the with the uh the rich guys or like to hang around celebrities or like to hang around influencers you know what i mean be seen and be seen in shots you know uh in selfies with these entertainers and blah 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 and le- and it and it allows their delusion and fantasies and imagination to go even more extreme and you know and fanatical you know, instead of, you know, in other words, they're floating away, honey. And I'm telling you, at some point, some people are going to be so high up in their delusion and and, and um, hallucination, you're not going to be able to bring them back down to earth. And sadly, a lot of them are just going to be creating so much delusion in their thinking that, you know, they're going to, you know, where they're st- not thinking. They're kind of rolling back. They think they're going forward. No, they're rolling back, rolling back. And they're going to get to a point, you know, because like I said, with artificial intelligence, if you're thinking for yourself, artificial intelligence can be fantastic, actually. But how many people are thinking for themselves, right? Um, But if you're not thinking for yourself, yeah, that's when artificial intelligence is going to control your narrative. How about that? Artificial intelligence is going to control your narrative. Because if you're not thinking for yourself, you're going to start feeling the effects of it. And I told you, it's like it's like atrophy. You know, your brain cells are dying and you're not going to even know that you're being controlled by artificial intelligence. And that happens to a lot of wounded people who have not healed. You know, they're wounded, but they're, but they feel like they're so powerful. You know, they, they, they want to be, they want to be literally, figuratively and metaphorically Superman or Spider-Man, Batman, whatever. You know, they want these personas, and they believe they are those personas. They really do. You know, they really believe that they are that. But um, but a lot of us, are, like I said, are going to the righteous ones, the ones doing the right things. We're just going to, all we can do is sit back and observe it. And as well, make sure we are monitoring ourselves constantly, protecting our family, you know, protecting humanity, okay, which includes... Protecting the flora, the fauna, the animals, the creatures as best you can. You know, protect the infrastructure as far as our water is concerned. You know, the water situation is going to hit particular states in a devastating fashion where, you know, they're going to be begging for all this. You know, because I told you there are certain states that are buying water from certain states. Isn't that crazy to be buying water from another state? So that that tells you right there your infrastructure is in is uh, uh, in severe danger. So you need to reconsider that. Those of you that are buying water, okay, and you know who you are, okay. You need to you need to really consider your infrastructure. Otherwise, you're gonna have millions upon millions of people with, uh, as they say, blood on your hands. When you knew better, you know you're gonna have blood on your hands, okay. So I want to go ahead and you know put out some put out some information. You know I'm always monitoring and paying attention to things, and I like to keep it raw. I like to keep it real. I like to keep it honest. I like to keep it direct, straightforwardly. You know, but you have the free will to take it as you will, or ignore it. There's trillions of bit of content out there. So to be sitting there being all concerned about you know particular irrelevancy about you know more so about how somebody looks 
you know, how much weight they have, how much weight they don't have. You know, I mean, in other words, we're, we're targeting people for that kind of stuff, you know, and getting all worked up about it and being, you know, and being hateful, being cruel, you know, being uh, unkind and not not fostering in some universal love for people, some compassion, some empathy and understanding. OK, so I'm ready to start chomping on some of my my fruit that I have here. So I'm getting ready to enjoy some fruit. Then I'll, you know, find me a good meal and do some paperwork and, you know, go about my day. So I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon mountains. At the end of the day, it's about universal love. Okay? Spread it. And trust me, I'll be back.